It's been a hot and humid week as we head into the dog days of summer, but despite that, some of us still want to exercise outdoors. Yeah, and if you're among them, you've really got to take precautions to prevent heat related illness or injury. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News, Health Beat reporter Mark Killer is here to explain. Mark? Hi, Nick and Candace. Exercising in high heat and humidity puts extra stress on your body. It's why medical experts urge you to have a summer exercise game plan to protect your body inside and out. Getting in a run when the heat and humidity are stifling may not sound appealing, but it can't stop Kevin Masakovic. I typically run, yeah, I would say five to six days a week. The heat doesn't scare away this 71 year old bicyclist either from his daily ride along the Heritage Trail. I sweat a lot more, uh, you know, my shirt gets a little soaked. <laughs> But on summer days that sizzle, it could be dangerous if you take that outdoor exercise for granted and you don't take precautions. It starts with what time of day you're getting in that outdoor workout. The exercise, particularly if it's high intensity, is done at a time where the, the sun isn't so bright and it's not shining down upon us and it's not so hot so that we prevent dehydration. Dehydration can happen as strenuous exercise combined with heat and humidity increase your core body temperature and could trigger a heat-related illness or injury. That's where drinking plenty of water comes into play. Longtime high school basketball coach Jack Lyons knows a thing or two about preventing dehydration. I drink a lot of liquid before I come and then obviously you drink a lot of liquid after to keep hydrated. That means bumping up the typical 8 to 12 cups of water, Dr. Rami says you should drink every day anyway. Every 10 minutes of higher intensity or moderate intensity exercise, I typically suggest at least an additional cup of water. Preventing a heat related illness like heat stroke should be paramount. Know the symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, headaches, fainting, and cold, clammy skin. So keep on exercising, but be smart about it. You just got to make time for it. It's a priority. You know, to me, live a healthy, active lifestyle. You got to make it just one thing you're going to do. A few more things. Make sure you're hydrating before you actually feel thirsty. Wear lightweight, loose, and light colored clothing. Be aware of heat advisories to change your exercise plan accordingly. And don't forget sunscreen before that summer outdoor workout. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. Mark, thanks.